Uh, Dr. Zerwas, I'm going to ask you a couple questions, and you may not know the answer, and that's okay, but if I could get the answer just a little bit later. On uh, Article 7, page 10, we suspend House rules here to add $32 million in the transportation budget for a special project in El Paso, Texas. And it's an IT project, and the reason I'm up here is I'm not a supporter of it, and I want to go on the record because I've gotten a lot of calls about this, about what it is, and I've asked my district engineer in El Paso, he knows nothing about it. The Regional Mobility Authority knows nothing about it. The mayor of El Paso called me, talked the last two days. He doesn't really know anything about it. And I know it was a small uh, item that was thrown in and just a wish list for the city, but could you at least get the answer for me on a couple things? We're going to borrow $32 million, and so not only is it a a project that may be a sole source, single vendor type thing, but out of a $14 billion budget, we're going to borrow $32 million, and I'm not sure how long that's going to take and what it's going to cost. And Dr. Zerwas, after you find that out for me, and again, this has nothing to do with the conference committee yourself. We've had a couple of projects in my community that were pork barrel spending, and it's hurting us on our priorities from a past regime. It's not the current one. It's not the current chairman. But I do need to, to know where this came from. I can't seem to get any answers on that. And, if, and if, I, again, I need to go on the record that I don't support this project that's in the resolution. Uh, thank you, Chairman Pickett. And, and duly noted, uh, this was uh, one of the uh, proposed projects that came to us uh, pretty late in the negotiation. I I believe the gentleman behind you is probably going to be able to uh, shed some light on it because uh, uh, I believe it was him that, that actually brought this to us. And um, Chair Nelson and I considered that uh, along with uh, the appropriate conferees and determined that this would be a reasonable thing for us to put into the budget. So uh, and, and I understand, uh, you know, it's sometimes hard to get communications to everybody on, on, on everything, and thus we are here today and, to have and again, that conversation. And I'm not speaking for uh, the delegation at all. And yes. one of the other questions I had was, even if this is something that's possible to do, since this $32 million would not even be on the state system. It, it's, it, it's not on a state highway. And I'm not even sure right now that it's something that TxDOT has the ability to do. But in the last week, since this has kind of popped up, I've talked to, as I said, the Regional Mobility Authority board members. I've talked to the city of El Paso, the mayor. And none of us can seem to find out where the thread, if you pull it on the sweater, where this, this, this leads to. But I would appreciate just anything that you can help me with. So, Yes, sir. We'll, we'll, I'll certainly follow up with you and with some more detail uh, on, on the overall project. Um, I believe Mr. Moody, who's behind you, could probably share some more detail also um, uh, with, the, with the group, but the body as a whole. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Moody, for what purpose? Will gentlemen yield for a couple questions? I will. And first of all, I want to thank you, Dr. Zerwas, and your staff, and Chairman Gonzalez, for for working with me on this. This is were you aware that this was a city of El Paso priority project, and that's why we brought it brought it to you all. That, that was our understanding uh, when it was brought to us that it uh, did have a high priority. Uh, members of your delegation were were strongly supportive of it. Again, that's uh, that was the line of communication that we well, received. Well, and, and this this technology that we're talking about specifically is related to not just um, commerce at our bridges, which is important. Obviously, we know that commerce coming across our international ports is extremely important, but it allows for ease of that commerce to come back and forth in a safe manner. I mean, that, that's why I think it's been important. It also has a dual purpose related to, to security along the border, and that was a high priority for, for the city of El Paso. And yes, sir. That was our understanding when it was uh, brought to us, and um, I believe Chairman Gonzalez uh, you know, affirmed that, and we basically felt that it uh, you know, rose to a level that it could be accommodated in this budget. Well, I just wanted to take, take time to, to thank you for for looking at this item, it was one that, as you said, came up uh, fairly late in the process, but it was one that was always on the, the legislative agenda for the city of El Paso. 
had this item included, uh, which is something that was voted on by the mayor and council there. And so I want to thank you for taking that seriously because it really does add a lot to, 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 to what we need to get done in our community. And I appreciate the open ears uh, that you and your staff had and, and Chairman Gonzalez. Thanks, Chairman.